Hello friends and welcome back to Swift Lessons for another By Request Song Tutorial. In today's session, let's get a little rhythm practice in with Elvis Presley's Are You Lonesome Tonight? So today I'm jamming on this high vibe acoustic guitar and sing it into the Earthworks SV33. Let's get started with a quick demonstration of the main section, then I'll break it down for you bit by bit. It's going to look and sound like this. A one, two, three, one, two. Are you lonesome tonight? Do you miss me tonight? Are you sorry we drifted apart? Does your memory stray to a bright sunny day? When I kissed you and called you sweetheart Do the chairs in your parlor seem empty and bare? Do you stare at your doorstep and picture me there? Is your heart filled with pain? Shall I come back again? Tell me, dear, are you lonesome tonight? Let's break that down. Okay, a close look at the fretboard, getting started with our intro section. We're in standard tuning, the key of... C major. Once again, this intro is going to sound like this real slow. A one, two, three, one, two. One, two, and three, and one, and two, and three, and one, and two, and three, and a one, and two, and three. Okay, so that was a very creative way of playing through the progression D minor to G7 to C major and then back to the G7 chord, which in the key of C is a two, five, one progression, and then a return back to the five to set up the verse. For the beginners, let's get the chords down first. So the D minor chord, we've got fret two on the G, three on the B, and one on the high E string, strumming from the open D string down, D minor. All right, next we have G dominant seven, fret three on the low E, two on the A, and then one on the high E string. Strumming all six strings there, G7. Then a garden variety C major chord, fret three on the A, two on the D, and one on the B string. Strumming from the A string down for C major. And then we're back to the G dominant seven chord. All right, which would then get you into the verse. Now let's add in those intricacies. Strumming patterns. Bass and treble separation, arpeggiation, and a walk down. Okay, so we're starting off with a nice little uh, walk in the key of C. That drops you off to the D minor chord. That's three on the A string, open D, two, and then the open D string. That gets you to D minor, where we're gonna play down, up, down. So far you have two measures of music. Real slow. All right, next go to the G dominant seven and play bass up, down, up, down, up. All right, then we're onto the C major chord where we're gonna pick it apart. And then walk down to G seven. So we're taking the C major chord, playing the A string, the D string, and then a down up stroke before walking down. Three on the A, two, A, and then the third fret low E string, the root note of the G7 chord. That measure again. All right, from there we're just gonna play up, down, up, down, up, over G dominant seven. Okay, so that is 
five measures of music there in three, four time. You put it together and we've got one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and one, and two, and three, and one, and two, and three, and one, and two, and three, and. It's so important that you practice counting as you play. It's great for your rhythm. Okay, very well done, everybody. You've got the intro down. Now we're jumping into the verse section. We're gonna divide it up into two parts, verse A and verse B. Both are 16 bar progressions. So the chords we're gonna be having, a measure of C major to a measure of E minor, second fret A, second fret of the D string, strumming all six strings. And then we're gonna have the minor six chord in the key of C, A minor for two measures. Fret two on the D, two on the G, and one on the B string for the beginners out there. Okay, that's gonna be your first line of music. Are you lonesome tonight? Do you miss me tonight? All right, on to the next line, we're gonna have C major. Are you sorry? We add your pinky to the third fret of the G string for C7. Drifting apart. And then to the F major chord for two measures. Now the F chord can be played in a number of ways. If you can play your bar chords, just bar the first fret, E to E. And then we're gonna have third fret A, third fret D, and the second fret of the G string with the ring finger, pinky, and middle finger. The trick is to lower your thumb to the bottom of the neck, so that way your index finger straightens, then pull back with both arms, press your chest into the guitar for a nice, clean F major. Okay, so that line again. Are you sorry we drifted apart? All right, if you want a more beginner-friendly version of the F chord, you can always play this kind of abbreviated version. Third fret D, second fret G, and then the index finger barring across the B string and the high E string for F major. All right, then we're on to six measures of G dominant seven. Does your memory stray to a bright sunny day when I kissed you and called you sweetheart? All right, then we're back to two measures of the C major chord to finish the A section of this verse. Again, that's 16 bars in three, four time. Okay, now strumming through these chords is quite simple. There's a number of ways you can do it, but I'm gonna give you two different options. So, over the C major chord, we can play bass, down, up, down, up. And we can do that with all the chords in the progression. Bass, down, up, down, up. The A minor chord, bass, down, up, down, up, bass. Down, up, down, up. To the C major chord, bass, down, up, down, up. C7, bass, down, up, down, up. And then the F major chord, bass, down, up, down, up. Bass, down, up, down, up. Same thing over the G dominant seven. We're not gonna switch it up yet. Bass, down, up, down, up. Or bass, up, down, up, down, up. Bass, up, down, up, down. Bass, up, down, up, down. Bass up, down, up, down, up. Bass up, down, up, down, up. Now here's a little trick that you can do, and I hear it consistently through the song, that arpeggio trick. One and two and three and. Or the A string, A, D, down, up, down, up. All right, you can do that over those two measures of the C major chord. One and two and three and one and two. Okay, you put all that together and it should sound like this with the vocal. Are you lonesome tonight? Do you miss me tonight? Are you sorry we drifted apart? Does your memory stray? Sunny day when I kissed you and called you sweetheart. One and two and three. 
Okay, now jumping into the B section of the verse. Okay, so this B section is pretty simple. It's gonna start off with two measures of the C dominant seven chord using that arpeggio technique. Do the chairs in your parlor. And two measures of F major, again, with the arpeggio technique. Empty and bare. All right, then we're throwing in a new chord to the mix, D dominant seven. All right, such a cool chord change. We have the second fret G, first fret B, and the second fret of the high E string. Strumming from the D string down, we can play two measures, bass, down, up, down, bass, down, up, down, up. Okay, with the lyrics. Do you gaze at your doorstep? All right, then we're on to the D minor change, going to the G dominant seven. Picture me there. All right, from there, we're just gonna mix these chords up. The C major chord. Is your heart filled with E minor pain? D dominant seven. Shall I come back again? For two measures. Then D minor. Tell me, dear. G dominant seven. I ain't lonesome. And back to C major. Tonight. And then the five chord, G dominant seven. For the next repetition of the A and B sections of the verse, there Elvis is going to get into some spoken word. Okay, so for the last eight bars of this progression, we're just going to implement that arpeggio strumming technique. So for the C major chord, start from the A string. A, D, down, up, down, up. The E minor chord, start from the low E string. E, A, down, up, down, up. Then two measures of D dominant seven, start from the D string. D, G, down, up, down, up. D, G, down, up, down, up. Same thing for D minor. D, G, down, up, down, up. You can do it over G dominant seven, start with the low E. Back to C major. And G dominant seven, you know what to do. You put that together and we have Is your heart filled with pain? Shall I come back again? Tell me dear Are you lonesome tonight? Alright, if you can put those two sections together then you have the full verse. Let's give it a shot. Starting from the C major chord are you lonesome tonight? A minor. Do you miss me tonight? Back to C. Are you sorry? C7. We drifted apart. F major. Does your memory stray to a bright sunny day? When I kissed you and called you sweet C major, high the arpeggio. The B section. Do the chairs in your parlor. F major seem empty and bare arpeggiated. D dominant seven. Do you gaze at your doorstep? D minor and picture me there. Final eight bars. Is your heart filled with E minor? Shall I come back again? Tell me, dear, are you lonesome tonight? All right, from there, we're gonna have that spoken word section, which will be played the exact same way on the guitar. And remember, you can mix things up. You don't always have to do the strumming, the straight strumming pattern. You can always mix in these arpeggios wherever you see fit. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. And remember, if you need extra guidance, you can always head over to patreon.com slash lessons. There I have a full tab and also Guitar Pro to help you along. Enjoy your practice.